first of all, they give this organization, the Illuminati, too much power. They give them more power than the Almighty Yah, than the Almighty God. They're going around saying, I'm getting all these roles with big time celebrities because I sold my soul to the Illuminati. It's crazy. You know what's so crazy is uh, people going around saying, I joined the Illuminati and that's how I'm working with all these big time celebrities. I tell you, boy. It's sad. It really is sad. Not one time did you see me put on a dress. Not one time did you see me do something fugazi. I'm masculine, still masculine, working in Hollywood and working with big time people. See, you got to understand, I serve a big time God. All right. He pulling strings for me in this industry and he's navigating me through an industry that's trying to emasculate black men. He's putting and placing me in places whereas masculinity is being shown. Okay? I don't have to sell my soul. I got the most powerful, I got the most powerful agent in the universe, and that's the Almighty Yah. He's my agent, okay? He's the one going behind the scenes. He's the one that's hooking me up with the right directors and producers and putting me with the right type of celebrities or whatever the situation is. And sometimes he'll send me in places to change that situation. He'll send me in places to, to, to show the face of a black man being a protector in our society and in our world and on television, which they're, they're not trying to project that. And me being in the industry, my masculinity will always be intact. You'll never see me wearing a dress. None, you'll never see me doing that because I don't have to. You don't see Denzel Washington putting on a dress, do you? You don't see Ed Idris Elba putting on a dress. Huh? Have you ever seen Samuel L. Jackson put on a dress? Have you ever seen any of those those black men put on? Have you ever seen Lawrence Fishburne put on a, a dress? No, you don't have to do that crap. But what they want to do is make you believe you have to do that. See, as long as you can, as long as you allow them to make you believe you have to sell your soul to be successful, then you're gonna buy into that. You don't have to buy into that because there's good and evil in everything. I keep trying to tell y'all, nothing is all evil and nothing is all good. There's a split between good and evil in everywhere you go. So when I'm on these stages, when I'm in the industry, the Lord has sent me places and hooked me up with people where I'm, I'm an agent of change. Okay. My masculinity is still intact, ain't it? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Y'all need to stop going around telling these lies that I got to sell my soul and, and join the Illuminati <laughs> to work with big time celebrities. Y'all are sad and a lot of y'all need, need need Christ in your life. A lot of y'all need to pray and have a real relationship with the Almighty. And y'all need to get more informed instead of believing what the internet tell y'all. <laughs> I'm your boy Zillia Dale. Never have to sell my soul. Never will. Because I got the most powerful agent in the universe. And that's the Almighty Yah. He puts me in places and he elevates me. And he blesses me to be an agent of change. In the industry, showing black men as protectors and masculine in a place where they're always trying to emasculate us. And they're even using our own women to do it. <laughs> and I'm out of here.